do you guys know about any Unity VR tutorials? I've basically just started um, Unity I, Studio. I have one straight away. It's really fun on that. Unity literally just released one, like right down to, I no think kidding. it was, yeah, about last week or something. So if you follow their blog, they, they produce a lot of um, learning material. And I've said this before, Unity up to now have not really been dogfooting their own stuff. They've just not been... It never felt like they were making games in their own engine, and that always Explain felt a little bit. What, what that means, that term, because I don't think a lot okay, of people yeah. know. <laughs> so, so dog fooding, it's great. It basically means eating your own dog food. It just, it's sort of, uh, it's shorthand for do you actually use the tools you develop yourself? And this is a very big, it's a red flag if you've got a company that produces, you know, any kind of software, and they're using a different bit of software internally to do the same thing. You know, it means they have no faith in what they're doing. Uh, and I'm not saying Unity was doing that specifically, but what they were doing is it felt like they were trying to match the requirements they perceived developers having, not what developers were actively dealing with on a regular basis, because they weren't actually making their own content. And so by the nature of them more recently building their own projects, their own videos, and, and uh, even, even some game demos and stuff, it feels like they have a much better handle on what the things that actually hold you up are as a developer. And so the more recent Unity stuff all feels like it's aimed to actually save time and solve problems that devs have. So with that in mind, one of the new courses they have is literally how to do an interactable escape room or something using using a VR in, in Unity. And I haven't tried, I haven't used it myself, but I've I've watched the, the kind of trailer they did and it looks solid. So I would I'd give that a go. It's like directly from the horse's mouth, so to speak, you know? <laughs> yeah, and it's, I would say that Unity, it, it, it would appear to me that they are doing a lot of dog fooding because, you know, you see, I forget what, what his name is. I think it's Matt Shell. Um, you see them coming out with a lot of material and it's probably been a bit more of a push in the last two years. Um, but you see a lot of good stuff coming out and, you know, maybe the tutorials, like, you know, they came out with a couple, like the first person shooter that you look through that code and it's like, what is this? You know, this is not helpful to me, but I'm sure in that process, they probably came to a lot of conclusions about, you know, like the, the UNET or, or the, the, the multiplayer stuff and, and, and how some of those things are, were probably really difficult to put together. I mean, I know that with the other, the other big demo that came out around the same time was the, um, uh, the Massive City one that showed off Unity ECS. I forgot what it was called, but I was actually at Unite um, in 2018 when that keynote uh, dropped and then there, oh, there was a whole bunch of sessions about that mega it was it was called mega city there was a whole bunch of sessions sessions about mega city and i went to every single one because at the time i was like really into uh covering ecs and honestly that for me was kind of like a catalyst that i was like i'm i think at this point i'm going to stop covering ecs because every single one of those talks as they were uh, pulling off the covers at, at different uh aspects of that mega city i was like wow, this is not ready. Everything they're describing sounds awful and hard to use. Impressive, you know, and it was actually very functional and it was very optimized. I'm not taking away from that, but from from a developer's perspective, you could just see that they had not worked out the kinks at that time. Now I think they have, and I might start covering ECS probably towards the end of next year or maybe towards the middle, depending, but yeah, it, it's uh, you can tell now that Unity's really starting to use their software in a more realistic way, like like we would use it, like indie developers would use it. Yeah, because even a big part of that was um, the even the tooling. So we talked about developer tooling earlier. Um, with the earlier ECS stuff, you had to use everything with external profiling and stuff. You couldn't see in editor what you were doing. But more recently, you can actually view the um, the actual entities and, and what you're making and how they're interacting and stuff. And so. The fact that you can even have a button which can convert things uh, in to ECS uh, entities, it's like, okay, they're they're leaning on it actually in, in a way that's practical for people to use now rather than it being like almost tacking another engine on top of Unity just to function to, to make the, the games, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And they had the whole hybrid ECS for a while. And, uh, you know, it's... It's good that they released it, and because it was it was a good opportunity for people to see what it was. But it really was alpha, so you know you got a lot of people getting really hyped about it, and then it's like, well, it's not, not even close to being ready. So, and then you have people like me who make a like an eight part tutorial series that's completely uh, deprecated now. <laughs> that gets lots of views, and people are like, hey, this doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be endlessly chasing the dragon if you're trying to keep up with all of the changes. You'll be making videos every week and they'll be completely unrelated to each other. 